Our coverage of Memorial Day 2022 continues here at 530. Among those at today's Memorial Day events, the families of those who did come home and enjoyed full lives serving their communities as civilians. 17's Robert Price talked to one local family grateful for their veteran patriarch who was among a unique set of fighters who showed a special sort of courage. Something perhaps we don't think of very much on Memorial Day, but there is diversity among those who lost their lives for their country. And diversity among those who came home, too. Of the 16 million fighting men and women who served in World War II, for example, more than one million were African American. In fact, Americans of virtually every color and ethnicity fought in the war, including 20,000 Chinese Americans. One of those Chinese Americans was 18-year-old Frank Lee, born in San Francisco in 1925 to Chinese immigrant parents. He picked vegetables in Sanger as a teen and was drafted at age 18, two and a half years after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, where Lee was assigned in 1944. His daughter, Betty Lee Wong, attended a Memorial Day commemoration in his honor. This is my dad. Does he look 18? <laughs> Frank Lee served until 1946, married in 1947, and moved to Wasco in 1953, where for 61 years he ran National Market, which through the years employed dozens of Wasco residents, young and old. Frank Lee and Chinese Americans like him might have been forgiven for any bitterness arising from discrimination. Their acts of patriotism, loyalty, and courage took place at a time when the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 and its discrimination impacts were in place. The Exclusion Act prevented non-U.S. born Chinese Americans from obtaining citizenship. Despite that, one in five Chinese Americans served during World War II, 40 percent of them without citizenship. In recognition of his service, Frank Lee was among about a thousand Chinese American World War II veterans awarded a Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian award given by Congress. His daughter accepted the posthumous award on his behalf. I just felt so honored. I felt so humble, <laughs> humble and honored to have received that. Frank Lee got a chance to hear quite a few thank yous when he flew back to Washington, D.C. aboard an honor flight in 2014. Wayne Wong said the experience brought out the dormant military man in his father-in-law's makeup. He said he was really proud to be an American because people would come up to him in his honor flight cap and jacket and they would shake his hand and he was like a rock star. <laughs> Frank Lee wore his cap daily from then on and he was buried in it. Lee understood as well as anyone that Memorial Day is the day we honor those killed in battle. That's why today, on behalf of Frank Lee, Betty and Wayne Wong offer a heartfelt thank you on his behalf. As we look around Hillcrest Memorial Park, it's easy to wonder what kind of life would those who sacrificed have lived if they had come back. Frank Lee was one of the lucky ones, and in his six decades of civilian service to the small farm town of Wasco, he made it clear that he never took his good fortune or the sacrifices of his fellow Americans, Chinese or otherwise, for granted. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.